Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow, where well, well, we bring you all the tech all the dang time. That's what we do here. Now, check it out. You guys all know that we're trying to build our own type of PlayStation 4, and we've gotten a couple cases in consideration, and the one by Fractal that really struck us the most was the Node 605, but when we did a poll, people said, oh, that case is like really too big for doing the PlayStation 4 build, so instead, we thought we were going to use this one instead for doing the Steambox type project. So we're going to make another system. It's an HTPC slash type Steambox type thing and that's bigger, that there's really no limitations on, that we can just make as badass as possible for the ultimate cool machine. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's take the Node 605 out of the box. Let's take a look at it. This thing's supposed to be really cool. It's supposed to have some cool Scandinavian designs, really interesting, you know, uh, smooth and sleek look. So it's going to look like a piece of furniture or a piece of stereo equipment more than just a computer case. So with that that said, let's jump in, unbox this thing, check out the features, and hey, let's just get to know the Node 605. All right, folks, like any good unboxing, I know people want to see the box. So here's one side of the box. This one has some of the things about it. We are now going to flip it to the other side right here. Now, this has all the features, which I'll be talking about in depth as we take it out of the box so you guys can check it out. We'll flip it around the other side of the box, give you guys full box unboxing. So flip it around, show you guys the last side. Then I'll have the camera just readjust up here on the top. Where I'm going to take this little trusty knife right here, the old Batman knife. Make an insertion right here. Go ahead and pop the cap right here. Pop it. Alrighty then. The slam, the slam. So inside, you guys can see. Let me get this thing over here for you folks so you can see. Everything nice and well packed inside, so no damage from shipping and everything. So if you order this and you know it's coming in the mail, you know it's not going to get screwed up. That's always a good thing. So let me just flip the box over once. Should be able to just get everything out of here. And there we go. Slight little bang. Uh, one box coming right at the cameraman. Cameraman, prepare thyself. Oh! All right, good catch. This guy is getting better and better every day. So let me take the sides off. We got one side, and another one at the cameraman. Oh, man. Missed him by... Well, you know what I'm going to say. One more. Oh, she Got him that time. No dodging that. What about this? I, no, I guess that's part of this unboxing. All right. Let's go ahead now. You can see it's covered completely in plastic, by the way. So now we'll go ahead and take this to the side right here. And we shall go ahead and take it out. Look at that. How nice that is. Okay. So, right off the bat, I think we'll talk about the accessory pack. So, uh -huh, I'm going to move that out of the way. Here we go. Right off the bat, we have the Fractal Design Node 605 Accessory Kit. Now, this thing contains 9 motherboard standoffs, 13 motherboard and PSU screws, 16 HDD screws, 16 SSD screws, 4 fan screws for optimal fans, 5 cable ties, 1 ODD, bracket pair, 4 AD skis, 4 screws, 4 brackets, and it's all right here on the back of the box in case you missed it. All right, so let's get out of the way. Then we also have right here the Node 605 computer case, manual and guide. It's your guide to the stars. Take a tour of the case via the manual. That's right, RTFM, always a good thing. Remember that. All right, then after that, let's go ahead and let's take the case. Let's put it on the table. Let's remove the plastic siding. And now let's talk about the features of the case. All right, folks, so now we have the case out of the box, the Node 605, everybody, so check it out. We're going to start off by measuring here in the front from the ground up, and we can see that this case is six and three-quarter inches high. Now let's see the depth. The depth is 13 and a quarter inches, and the width is, lastly, but not leastly, 17 and a quarter inches. And like usual, like I said, we'll have all this translated in millimeters for you folks. So that's the size, always important. Now, let's start out right in the front of the case. You guys can see that this thing's totally sleek. It's like, basically, like one of the things you saw in the 2000, the cool, really, like, nifty stereo units. You guys can see there's a power button right over here to the right. The power button's right here. Now, the CD unit that you can use in here, it's geared to use the, like, ones you use in kind of laptops, little mini ones. So if you're going to use something that's going to be practical, you want to find that. Now, I've heard that it will take a regular CD drive, but then you won't be able to use full-size ATX motherboards. This thing will support most of those. Now, let's flip down, 
show you guys the front. All right, folks, now that we've popped the little thing down here, you guys can see it's nice and hit if you want it. Remove it out. We've got the Slimline CD right there. Moving over, we've got Firewire. We've got headphone and we've got microphone. Two USB 3.0. And we have card reader all here on the front of the case, as well as, like I said before, the power button. So now I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Let's flip it around and let's take a look at the bottom of the unit. Now, just like I said, when you guys have seen nice stair equipment, you see these same type of feet on those type of units. So this thing is really geared to be not only a PC component, but a high-end electronic device. You know what I mean? Something really, really cool. All right, folks, so now as we continue our tour of the outside of the Node 605, let's take a look at fan availability. Now, we see right here, there's a fan selector switch, has three positions. Then we see one, two, and I'm gonna flip it around to the other side. Three, four, 120 millimeter fans that can be put in. There's actually two that I saw inside there. We'll get to that in just a second. And then in the very back, you can see this availability of two more right here. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven open slots. That's for all of your upgrade ability. And here's your power supply. It's going to go right here. And with that said, now I'm going to remove the top. A couple screws right here. I went ahead and loosened these a second ago to make it easier for me. After that, we should just be able to pop the top off here. And we do. And also inside, we can see the sound dampening material. This will help keep the system running very cool and quiet. They use this in a lot of their Define series cases. So this is really cool stuff. I like when a case runs very silent. So we'll set that off to the side. And then let's flip this thing up onto its side and let's take a look on the inside. Inside over here, it's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to get the camera to zoom in here. Like I said, this thing has two 120 millimeter fans inside of here. Here's one right here. And I'm going to move the case around to the other side. And you actually can't see it, I don't think, very well. I don't know if the cameraman can even get in there. But you know what? Maybe I can get you to see it. Let me see here. So I'm going to go ahead. I remove those two screws. I'm going to remove this right here. Get this out of here. Now, this right here are where your dry bays and stuff are going to go into. The accessories in that little box we talked about before. There's two of these. And the fan is actually blowing across these. Now, you guys can almost see the fan, so let's just go ahead and keep taking this out so then I can have the cameraman bring this really close up for you folks so we can take a closer look at everything. Set those off to the side. Now I'm going to get the cameraman. He can really zoom inside here now. Right off the bat, you guys can see here's that fan I was talking about. And now inside of the case, last but not least, here is the entire wiring harness. Now I'm not going to disassemble this thing completely for you folks, but let me go ahead and take the zip tie off so you guys can get a better look at it and get the camera and can actually get the camera in there. So here basically folks is the entire wiring harness. So you guys can see all that. Like I said before, inside, you guys can also see this will take pretty much any size motherboard unless for some reason you want to use a CD player and you guys can see there's this little thing over here. This is where the rear I.O. of your motherboard is going to go. So your motherboard is going to sit in here. Your rear I.O. is going to be right there. Power supply mounted right here. Now they spoke of using a full size CD player in this. Um, I don't really see how that's going to be possible. I don't know if the cameraman can zoom in there, but you guys can see right here. But I don't see how that's really going to be possible. I guess maybe if they mean that you're going to mount a big giant one inside of here, I guess you could do that by taking the front panel off. But it looks like the mini ODD ones are going to be the best thing that I can do. All right. So, hey, there you guys have it. Fractal Designs Node 605. Like I said at the very beginning of the video, you guys can see this thing is very elegant. It looks kind of like a piece of furniture or like a stereo unit. doesn't really look so much like a PC case, you know, because those are usually standing, you know, straight up and down. Now, for what we're going to use this for, it's going to be really cool. has great front connectors. So when I want to use my Xbox 360 wireless controller, I can hook that up. My wireless keyboard, all those connections are right on the front. Um, the little thing that they buy 
about it that kind of like trips me out a little bit is because the fact that it has to use a very, very tiny, you know, slim drawer type of uh, DVD or CD player. That I wish I could use a regular size one and, you know, large board, but some sacrifices must be made. But there you guys have it, folks. This thing's coming to market at about 200 bucks. So look in the description below where you guys can check out where to buy this thing. It's your choice. Also, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hey, make sure you do so because we have lots of things going on, including our 100K sub contest, which includes lots of cool shiznick. Check it out. We'll see you later.